Okay, so this is how I got into the Discovery website. You have to email this person right here, just Jackie. I'll leave a link in the description box. She, I believe, handles the media stuff for the prosecuting attorney's office, Angela Corey. And just title the subject uh, as, like, Zimmerman Martin Discovery. And then in the main of the description, just ask her to add you to the website. And she will, it's free by the way, she'll send you a link then with to this website with your uh, username and a temporary password. Then you just go here and um, reset your password and you're in. And this is what it looks like here. Now, the problem I'm having and the question I have, if anybody can help me figure this out, this little tech question, is watching the videos. Now, the videos are in uh, the CCTV format that are specific to um, you know the security company as you can see here this is the video of 7-eleven security camera that is very specific to the manufacturer and what they record with now you can't view that if you click on this and download to your computer and try to put it in any of your players uh, I mean I couldn't no matter what I put it in I couldn't get it to play and then also on top of that, I couldn't get it to convert to anything, no matter what converter I threw it into. Now, on this website, if you look here at this uh, Sanford PD Lobby and Others, and open that up, you can see down here, there's this thing called Archive Player. Now, here's some instructions. You click on that's PDF, open it up, and what you get is this. And it says how to open and view the security cameras. Double click on the archiveplayer.htm file. If this comes up, then click OK. And then you should be able to open up a program that looks like this, according to them. Right now that's all the instruction they give you. And then they kind of tell you how to use the player and then that's it, right? That's all they tell you. Okay, so we go ahead and we click on this. And it wants to save it. I can't. There, see? It wants to save it, so I go ahead and save it and just open. And see? Oh, see what we did there? Now look at the URL on this. The use, uh, this is my desktop. And it just opens it like that. And as you can see, at least for me, it's a bunch of black boxes. Now that looks sort of like the player. Like it's supposed to be the player, if we look at that picture of that. Looks like it's that, but it's just all blacked out. Nothing works. Yeah, if I just leave that open and I go back to that site, and let's say I click on one of the videos, uh, all that does is download it to my desktop. And as you can see, here it is. I'm just moving it around so you can see. Here it is. It's in that DSF format. If I click it, open, it just does that, of course. It doesn't recognize it. I mean, I don't know what to do there. No. Yeah, I can try to drag it over to this and open. You know, it's just confused as hell. I've never seen this before. This kind of player that opens like that. Um, now, just to let you know, I had also had just recently, yesterday, installed a new Windows 7 onto a new um, hard drive and the first thing I did before installing anything else just the operating system alone was to go to test this website and it still come out black boxes and I went to the settings here of Internet Explorer and I tried to take any security they had off and still tried it still didn't work tried it with Mozilla Firefox still didn't work tried it with um, Google Chrome still didn't work well if you have any advice or if you get it going for yourself, if you go to that website and check it out, let me know. And if you can help me out, that'd be great too. Other than that, that's it for now. So, peace out, my brothers, sisters, and everyone in between.